Hey guys! So I'm climbing today at The Cube, a gym that I haven't been to in a while and is quite new. So hopefully there's going to be tons of new cool boulders and the idea is that I'm going to be giving myself three attempts per boulder that I try because that's one of my biggest problems in comps, giving too many attempts, so it's something I'm going to work on and see how this goes today. So let's get straight into it and hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to like and if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'll mean a lot and yeah, let's get climbing. So we've made it to the cube and since the gym is open to the public, I have to keep my mask on, unfortunately, but um, I bought earphones so then you guys can hopefully hear me better. This is their grade system, so then I can show you what difficulties are each boulder that I'm trying. So the first boulder that I'm going to try are these green holds. It's a red difficulty, so that means it's between 7A plus and 7B plus. So for my first attempt on this first boulder, the first move didn't really worry me, didn't seem too hard, but for the next move I was thinking of matching the grey volume and then getting a high heel hook onto the big green banana type volume like you see here, but unfortunately the grey volume wasn't good enough. For that attempt, that grey volume is not good enough for me to get my foot so high up, so I'm just going to try to go dynamically to the hold on my next attempt. So for my second attempt, the only thing that changes here is how I go to the next volume where I fell off before. I keep my feet low and go dynamically. The problem with this attempt is that my core isn't tight enough and my butt moves outwards like you see here. Pressure is on for my final attempt. What I did differently on this attempt is my left foot placement on this volume here. Not only is my left foot pushing against the volume, but also being used as a toe hook to keep my butt from moving too far outwards whilst going to grab that big green volume. <laughs> this move right here is quite delicate and uncomfortable. I had to stay low on my feet, open my hips to be able to hold that green slopey volume. But once I got that next pinch, I wasn't too worried about the end because the holds were quite good. Boulder number two is another boulder with green flat hold volumes with the difficulty between 7A plus and 7B plus. For my first attempt on the second boulder, the method I chose to make this hard move was to jump out right like here. But I was so surprised to make the move that I had no idea what I wanted to do with my feet. <laughs> oh, that killed my shoulders. I didn't know what to do with my feet. So I'm going to do that again, but I think I need my right hand to go a bit higher so then I can use the toe hook and match and then do the rest. For this attempt, I managed to get higher on the right hold, but I was thinking of doing a toe hook to the right, which unfortunately didn't work. So I tried once again, toe hook to the left and tried matching. Ah, pressure is on again, but now I know what I need to do. I need to get higher on the right hold. And so then if I put a toe hook, I can match. But here I was hesitating too much. I was thinking of doing a toe hook to the right. That doesn't work. So. For my last and final attempt, I use the same method as the ones before, except here I put my right toe hook in without hesitation and try to match. Unfortunately, I spin off, which makes me think now that I should have maybe tried left toe hook. Oh man! 
Okay, on to the next. It's a bit frustrating because I feel like I can very, in brackets, easily do the move, but oh well, that's life. Next boulder. Boulder number three is a different style of boulder with crimps instead of big volumes. And the difficulty is red, which means it's between 7A plus and 7B plus. The beginning is so long. I'll see. Okay, I don't think I read the end of that border well enough, but still a flash, even though it took me a gazillion minutes to make, but I'm happy with that. I really like small holds. <laughs> this is the last border that I'm trying out. Blue holds, flat holds, some small crimps at the top. Yay, so I finished with a flash on another red. So that's it for this session, um, quite short. I did try some other boulders that I didn't film, but which were a bit easier or a bit harder. So apparently the method is, hold on to that, 90 degree lock off, turn around, grab the next one, 90 degree lock off, turn around, go grab the next hold. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try the end anyway with placing my feet and we'll see how that goes. I had a good session, it was fun. Um, the cube has a different style of boulders compared to comp boulders so it's always good to kind of try different styles and I always struggle climbing at that gym usually because when it gets hard like the moves get further and more powerful so I'm happy with how I climbed 